Alright guys, welcome to my first video on DC Universe, DC Streaming Service, whatever you want to call it. And today I'm going to be going over some news on Titans. So, let's get right into it. I'm going to be looking at the Robin set photos. So, firstly, there's this one. I really like this costume. It looks kind of different from the front than it does from uh, the side. But as I said, as I said before, I really, really, really like this costume. By far the best Robin costume we have ever had in live action. We haven't gotten a, a better one. And I also think that Brenton Thwaites looks really, really cool as Robin. I think he will do a great job as Robin. Then there's this one. Now I think uh, Brenton Thwaites, the actor that's going to play uh, Robin in the show, he looks really young he is 29 and i think in the show they should say that he's younger they shouldn't say like when robin's age is mentioned they sh he shouldn't they shouldn't say that he is 21 or 29 because uh brenton thwaites looks like he could possibly be like 19 or something so why not say in the show that in the show he is 19 because i always pictured robin to be like a teen so um yeah, that's definitely an advantage, but here we get a closer look on the face, and just like before, the suit looks really awesome. But there has also been a synopsis released for the first episode of Titans, so I'm just going to read it for you. I'm going to read, like, some of it, then I'm going to pause and talk about it, and so let's just start. The pilot of Titans is centered on three heroes, Robin, Raven, and Starfire, but it begins with a flashback, the Flying Grayson Circus. This flashback is used as both a primer to the backstory of Dick Grayson and an introductory to Rachel Roth, Raven. So this obviously sounds extremely interesting, and I, um, I'm excited to see how they, um, how they make show the scene with the whole death of the parents thing, and it's that's interesting. The flashback does a respectable job at making the audience understand Robin's character akin to that of Bruce Wayne in the Batman films. It also gives a robust taste of what's to come with Raven highlighting her unstable psyche and untapped power. So again, very interesting, and I, I'm excited to see it. However, the rest of the pilot is structured very much around the individual heroes. Each first act begins with the Chiron separating the protagonist from each other. In this sense, it could be considered similar to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where each hero is given an introductory film to get the audience invested and are then brought together in an ensemble movie. So that's very interesting, as it seems like we won't see, like, the Titans reunited, like, right from the get-go. But that's the news I had for you right now for Titans. I'll be uploading another Titans video today or tomorrow, and I could possibly be uploading one more uh, a little later on. But I can't wait for uh, Titans to premiere along with the DC streaming service later this year. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye.